Outside the convention center vaccination site today, we found what's become a familiar site. No lines, no waiting. In fact, those walking in to receive either the J and J or the Pfizer shot say they were in and out. No lines, just walked in. It was like seamless. Just a couple minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes tops, not a second longer. Right now, we, we are, you know, well under capacity. Because of the limited interest, FEMA recently reduced their staff here at the site. Spokesperson for FEMA, Charlie Ellison, says they're capable of vaccinating more than 6,000 people a day, but haven't done that many in nearly three weeks. We haven't been delivering anywhere near that. We, we've been in the uh, uh, maybe the low 1,000s, uh, maybe in the teens some days. The site opened the first week of March with an original timeline of eight weeks, and at that time it was busy. So much so, the city requested a four-week extension that runs out on May 26th. As of now, I don't, I don't think the city of Philadelphia has requested an extension. Uh, the capability that our site brings to the table was to, you know, help be a literal shot in the arm for the city of Philadelphia in a surge capacity. So it, it may prove that our site is no longer needed after that, or the city may request us to extend, but in a more scaled down version. We asked the city if they'll be requesting another extension to keep the FEMA site up and running, but did not hear back. Ellison says people should stop by while the site is still here. Pending an extension, this is really Philadelphia's last opportunity to take advantage of the convention center, you know, ease. Doing just that today with city resident William Weiss. I'm thankful it's here for everybody because of what, what's going on around in the world and all the parts of Philadelphia. COVID is still with us, but the vaccination site, once the busiest around, soon may not be. In Center City, Stephen Fisher, NBC 10 News. You may still have questions about the vaccine. We're here to help you get some answers. NBC10.com is your one stop. If you've got questions and you want to know more about where you can go in your neighborhood to get the shot, check out our comprehensive guide on the free NBC10 app or at NBC10.com slash vaccine.